Hello traders and welcome to a new video on calculating the probability that price will reach any level before expiration. So what we're going to be talking about today can apply to options, futures, spot markets, and really any other kind of market, even besides crypto. So this idea, I do have to be honest, did come from Tasty Trade. And what I've talked about before is the probability of an option expiring in the money. But what I haven't talked about before is the probability of touch pot. Now, what this gives us is the probability that our option will go into unrealized profit. So if we have a price level and we know that if price goes beyond that price level and within, you know, let's say expiration in six days, 10 hours, price is beyond that price level, then we make money. It expires in the money. But we can also trade options before they expire. So what we need to know is what is the probability that price will go beyond that price level at least once? so that we could theoretically close that trade. So to do that, let's pretend like we're taking a long straddle. Now a long straddle is when we buy a call and we buy a put at the same strike price and we're betting on high volatility or we're betting on price trending in one direction. Now let's imagine that we use the 11,000 strike and we buy a call at 0 0.055. So let me put that guy in there. Did I have that in? Uh, 0 0.055. And I think we're buying a put for 0 0.051, but let me go check. Yeah, 0 0.051. I'm just going to use the mark prices for this. I'm not going to use in between bid and mark. I'm just going to assume that we trade at the mark because um, that's going to be very easy to fill your order if you put in your order directly at the mark price. Now, when we do that, here are our break even prices. We know that our lower break even is about 99.40, I'd say. And our upper break even is about 12,000, uh, I'd say 12,300. Yeah, 12,300 is fair. So 99.40 and 12,300. Now, normally, if I wanted to do this, uh, I'm going to put that in here. Normally, if I wanted to do this, all I could do is just say, okay, we have these factors here. What's the probability that this expires in the money uh, to the upside? So it goes beyond 12,300. Hey, it's 27%, 27.7. What's the probability that price actually uh, touches, just, just goes beyond this level for just a brief bit? This could be a price tail, this could be anything, really, within 6.4 days. Well, that probability is 0 0.312 times 2, which is 62.4%. How did I get that number? Well, you can look here. We know that the pot, the probability of price touching a certain level is two times the probability that the strike will expire in the money represented by delta. So it's two times delta. Now the reason why this works, you can see when you look up how to calculate the probability of touch, you're gonna see the same formula, just 2x delta. You can see that there are also were studies that were built in um, to see if this probability of touch did work. And they do give plenty of other ways to um, back up the research on probability of touch. And I have found that the probability of touch formula um, and the calculation does work pretty well. And you can read this article if you want to. So using this probability of touch, we know that there is a, about a 62% chance that price goes above this level at least once um, uh, within 6.4 days. Now for that to occur, price is at 11,000 here. Price would need to rise to, to 12,300 price would have to rise 1.3k and 12,300 is actually right here. So it's estimated that there's about a 62% chance that price goes above that level at least once before expiration in 6.4 days, which is around uh, here. So in this blue um, box, there's about a 62% chance. Hey, but how about, what's the probability that price goes below? Because we can also make money on this option if price goes below 99.40. That's our other break even, our lower break even. Because with a long straddle, guys, there's only three outcomes that can occur. You lose money if price goes here and doesn't have much volatility or doesn't really trend. You make money if price goes uh, far, you know, far down or far up. And there's two ways you can make money. One, you can wait for it to expire, and you can calculate that probability just using this tool. Or two, you can wait till it gets deep in the money and then just close out both legs of the trade, and then you're really pulling out of the trade. Um, some traders may like to do that, just lock in the profit instead of waiting till expiration, 
because you can trade these options uh, if there is liquidity available. And you could try to trade them around the mark price if price does go you know, deep in the money here or deep in the money here. Now with 99.40, let's go find out what is the probability that price will touch below 99.40 uh, at least once. So that's gonna be this value times two when it pops up, so not yet. So it is gonna be 53%. The way I got that is 26.5 times two is, is 0.53, so 53%. So there's about a 53% chance that price will go below 99.40 at least once. So if we know that there's a 62% chance that price goes above our upper break even and a 53% chance that price goes below um, our strike at least once, then this trade's probably not um, you know, a, a terrible trade to take. It looks like that these premiums are going to be fine. Now, what we can also do is calculate, well, 99.40 is great, but that would just be break-even profit. What if, I wanna know the probability that price reaches a certain point within 6.4 days um, at least once. Well, I, I could do that right here. What I could do is let's go here and let's say, hey, what's the probability that we get deep in the money, Let's such as price goes to 92.40, and we would receive a profit of around 0.08 Bitcoin. I mean, implied volatility and theta, uh, or time decay, would come into play here um, if it's pre-expiry, but let's just look at, the, look at it this way. So what's the probability that price goes all the way down to 92.40 at least once? Well, we can find that by just doing this. And we know that that probability is about 31%. So... Delta is estimating that there's about a 31% chance that price goes down to 92.40 at least once with this current volatility. Now, if you want to know where I got this underlying volatility, I got it from going to historical volatility. And this value here, as you can see, is about 144. So that's how you get the volatility portion of this. I'm using historical volatility as my underlying volatility um, instead of using implied volatility. So this is really all that you need to do for calculating probability of touch. Now, what I would recommend and how we can actually build this into an option strategy is calculate the probability of being in the money. Now, again, that's just doing this. Just, you know, um, I'm going to change this to 6.4 because that's how many days, uh, days are left. Yes, yeah, so there's about a 28% chance the price goes above 12,300 and stays above 12,300 um, and expires there. And 9940. There's about a 29.7% chance that price goes below there and stays there. Uh, that's calculating probability of in the money or PITM, which Tasty Trade also does talk about PITM, probability of your option strategy being in the money. But probability of touch is important as well because you can take profit, you know, if price does swing this way and you think the price is going to start swinging back, you may want to take profit there. Or if price just swings this way and you believe that price will begin to swing back, you could just take profit there. So that's gonna do it, guys. Um, so remember that the probability of touch uh, formula is just gonna be two times the delta of the option being in the money. So if you see that your break-even price below the current spot price, all you're going to do is do two times the delta of the put. If your break-even price is above, like let's say we were going with our, our upper break-even of 12,300, then that would just be 2x the delta um, of this option here, or this is the delta um, for the call option or the probability that it's going to be in the money times two, as you can see here. So 31.2% chance times two, which is 62%. I know I'm throwing around a lot of numbers, probabilities, numbers, and it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I do promise that once you begin to trade options or at least begin to simulate option strategies, that this will become more secondhand nature. And it's, I think that risk management is number one. Uh, trade management's number one with options. Just manage your risk and understand how much you can stand to lose with your trade. You know, here it will be 0 0.106 Bitcoin. Um, I can see that, you know, right there. That's step one. Step two is you need to know the probabilities here. You need to know at least the probability of being in the money or what is the theoretical probability that price will settle in the money or expire in the money? What is the theoretical probability that will expire in the money this way? What are the, what's the combined probability of me making a profit on either of these um, legs? And then also probability of touch. What's the probability that price touches beyond my lower break even? What is the probability that price touches above my upper break even? And to do that, we're gonna be using delta times two of in the money. All right, this has been your 10 minute video. Happy trading.